Hello. Welcome to the Detroit Experience. I'm an android and I'll be your hostess. Before we begin, let's make some adjustments to optimize your experience. These language settings were detected on your console. Are they correct? Please adjust your screen settings. Thank you. Now select your profile. When this sign is displayed, please do not turn off your console. You are now ready to begin Detroit. Remember, this is not just a story. This is our future. Welcome guys, welcome, welcome to Detroit Become Human. Saw some gameplay from Penguin last night, so I figured I'd pick up the game and we'd uh, have some fun with it. A 1994 quarter, eh? Hey. family. Okay, so John, Caroline, and Emma. Wow, they're already getting into it. Jesus. Poor fish! No! <laughs> Look at that. Saving fish. Good android. A pretty fantastic uh, pond, if I do say so. Anything over here I need to investigate? Nope, we're good. All right. So yes, welcome guys. My name's uh, Robot Panda Fifteen, also known uh, in the Cav community as Geki. Uh, figured we'd give this game a chance. Okay, that's Caroline. Wait. You're sending an android? All right, ma'am. You, you need to go. You can't do that. You... Why aren't you sending a real person? Find Captain Allen. There's Captain Allen. Okay. Talk to Captain Allen first. All right. Well then, I guess we're gonna talk to the cat first. I want to investigate what I can first before I do that. Really, really wants me to talk to Cat Allen first. Captain Allen, my name is Connor. I'm the android sent by Cyberlife. It's firing at everything it moves. It already shot down two of my men. We could easily get it, but they're on the edge of the balcony. If it falls, she falls. Do you know if it's been behaving strangely before this? I haven't got a 
clue. Does it matter? I need information to determine the best approach. Have you tried its deactivation codes? The first thing we tried. Listen, saving that kid is all that matters. So either you deal with this fucking android now, or I'll take care of it. Well then, what a dick. All right. Let's figure out what happened first. Handgun's been taken out of the case. An MS Blackhawk. Three fifty five. Okay. That's not a very high velocity round. The father's gun. Okay, okay. Hopefully, I'm not like in a time crunch or anything, because that's going to be interesting if I am. Search hostages room. Here we go. <clears throat> oh. Touchpad. Interesting. So, why would she, why would Daniel kidnap the girl? Didn't hear the gunshots. Why did the, why did Daniel... Still missing something. So let's go in here, see what we can figure out. No, no, I'm not going in yet. PD first responder. Okay. Yeah, he's gone. So they took a bullet wound there. He fired shots as well. Okay. came from there. So the hostage saw that. Okay. The cop shot first. Okay. 
so officer first responder officer came in probably do a shots fired call saw the android with the child noticed the handgun fired his round and the android shot back killing the police officer There we go, there's a, there's a weapon. Detroit PD gun. Turn that in to the officer. dinner. Who is cooking? Who is cooking? I want to know who is cooking. All right. What's up with you? John Phillips, okay. Mr. Phillips. Looks like a gunshot. Yep, there it is. Left kidney perforated. So two rounds fired here, a third at the police officer, a fourth just now. Where is this another gunshot? So that's five rounds. Five rounds fired. Okay. Then who was he hold? He was holding something. Okay. So then, turned, saw the android with the gun. He went to get up. The android shot him. Three rounds fired. He went down. So what the hell happened? Oh, touchpad. That can't be why he replaced him. That can't be why. At least I don't think that would be why. Then again, the the child really liked the android, so we have that going for it. So maybe, yeah. Hmm. What are we waiting for? Shut up. Hostage could be wounded. I don't think the hostage is wounded. And the android cares way too much. He's not going to harm her. He's not going to harm the girl. I doubt it. Man, this game really throws you right into it. Android's wounded. Okay. So he's a PL600. So he... Oh. 
replacement model for him. That's why he's upset. <sighs> Alright, here we go. Stay back! Don't come any closer or I'll jump! She betrayed you, but she's done nothing wrong. She lied to me! I thought she loved me. But I was wrong. She's just like all the other humans. Daniel, no! They were going to replace you, and you became upset. That's what happened, right? I thought I was part of the family. I thought I mattered. But I was just their tool. Something to throw away when you're done with. Listen. I know it's not your fault. These emotions you're feeling are just errors in your software. No. It's not my fault. I never wanted this. I love them. Come on. You know? I was nothing to them. Just a slave to be ordered around. He's losing blood. If we don't get him to a hospital, he's going to die. All humans die eventually. What does it matter if this one dies now? I'm going to apply a tourniquet. Don't touch him. Touch him and I kill you. can't kill me. I'm not alive. Come on, Daniel. I can't stand that noise anymore. Tell that helicopter to get out of here. Trust me, Daniel. Let the hostage go, and I promise you, everything will be fine. I want everyone to leave! And I want a car. When I'm outside the city, I'll let her go. That's impossible, Daniel. Let the girl go, and I promise you won't be hurt. Come on, Daniel. I don't want to die. You're not going to die. You're just going to talk. Nothing will happen to you. You have my word. Okay. I trust you.
We did what we could. We did what we could to save him. Ultimately, it wasn't our decision to make. It was all up to that officer. Okay, cool. So you get the flow chart. Holy shit. There are so many options. <laughs> I didn't lie to him. I didn't lie to him. What? I never lied to the guy. That's absurd. That is absurd. So hopefully this means you can do these in sections, like you can repeat each one in sections. Uh, so far, really, really interesting. Really made me think a lot. This is the top of the range house hold assistant. It cooks 10,000 different dishes. Come on, Zoe, let's go. And, diets, and handles the kids' homework. Can I help? Honey, it looks amazing. This is exactly what we need. How much did you say it cost? At the moment, we're doing a special promotion on this entire range at $7,999 with a 48 months interest free credit. And it comes with a two year warranty for parts and labor. This is Detroit. This is not Detroit. <laughs> oh, man. An excellent choice. <laughs> If you'll just follow me, we'll process the order. The NPA credit is slightly more expensive, but it has many other functions. Come along and I'll show you. I don't like this guy. There it is. It's a bit difficult getting it back in working order. Okay. It was really messed up. What'd you say happened to it again? <clears throat> the car hit it. Stupid accident. Ah, I see. Anyway, it's as good as new now, except that we had to reset it, meaning we had to wipe its memory. I hope you don't mind. It'll be fine. Okay. Did you give it a name? My daughter did. AX400, register your name. Kara. My name is Kara. All right, we have Kara now. I figured a chilled out commentary with this would be nice. $7,908,000 for a uh, Android actually isn't that bad. So the economy really improved. <laughs> Detroit is still Detroit. David Cage. <laughs> Let's see what we got here. So far, I'm really impressed. Uh, Heavy Rain is one of my favorites. So this is definitely, definitely up, going to be up there, I bet. Especially when you, ha when you have some Grey's Anatomy cast in here as well, you know. <laughs> Let me help you. Oh, thank you. 
There's a lot of androids. There are more androids than humans in this park. That's con So it gives you, in your objectives lineup, it also gives you the other things that are locked that you can do. Okay, I like that. Oh, hang on. Speaking, speaking of androids, my... with the Alexa app is uh, responding. <laughs> Human music. Thirty five percent unemployment. Holy shit. And and yet the the cost of an Android is eight grand. Are you kidding me? That's not a good economy at all. There's supposed to be the uh, we're supposed to, they're supposed to be the marked beasts or something the androids are is that what he's trying to be to do Okay. Hmm. Android parking. <laughs> oh, that's great. Oh, there it is. Identification verified. Here is your order number 847. That will be 63.99. Please confirm payment. Why well, I just walk away? <laughs> payment confirmed. 
Transaction complete. Uh, 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 nah. What if it's not the right color? Uh, yeah, sure, fine, we'll take it. <laughs> this is the one thing games do is that you just do that shit. Anything else in here I can investigate? Nope. I like that it kind of gives you a hint when a contextual action is close by. Take bus home. Oh no, am I going to miss the bus? Poor androids are segregated for the rest of the seating. <laughs> hmm. Okay. <laughs> the only one outcome, Marcus took the bus. Okay, there were two options here that I didn't do. Okay. God, there's so much shit that you can miss. I like it. That one's kind of straightforward. And this game just keeps on flowing. Like, it doesn't stop. <laughs> Alright, so I think we'll do a part for Kara here, and then we'll uh, we'll call it an episode, because this has been going on for about 34 minutes or so. So far, I'm pretty impressed. Definitely the visuals and everything. Uh, I'm playing on a standard PS4, uh, so we don't have HDR, we don't have, we don't have 4K, any of that crap. So, not too much to worry about. But I mean, we got what we got. Oh shit! I walked on the grass. You've been gone for two weeks, so the place is a mess. You do the housework, the washing, you cook the meals. And you take care of... God damn it, where the fuck's the brat gone now? Alice! Alice! Oh, there you are. That's Alice. You look after her. Homework, bath, all that crap. Got it? Yes, Todd. Get started down here, then you do upstairs. Holy shit. Let's get the trash taken care of. TV on. Yeah. 
I'll bring it tomorrow. Yeah, same place. You know, you know that. Right. All right, here we go. There we go. in some financial ruin. Financial issues, all right. Holy crap, where am I going? Jesus. What else do I need to do? Report to Todd. Nope, nope, nope. We got optional tasks. We got shit we're doing. Or what do we got back here? So I'm just trying to keep track of what all what all I need to do. Collect dishes, activate vacuum cleaner, take down the laundry. Let's take down the laundry then. I mean, I don't really have anything against Todd. He's in financial issues, you know. I I know that I I have a feeling what's going to happen is he's going to be he's going to conduct child abuse against his daughter there, but I don't want to sound like a very terrible individual, but like uh What am I trying to get at? What I'm trying to say is it it's understandable at the same time what happens and all that stuff. So Yeah, it's a bad environment for the kid to be in, but you know, he's doing his best even though it is oh, red ice. Even though it is drugs he's dealing with, like people are people, you know. You shouldn't mess around with my stuff. It makes me nervous. I'm sorry, Todd. You just stay the fuck out of my business. Unless you want to piss me off. You want to piss me off? No, Todd. So, yeah. I think our objective is we're going to get the kid out of there without trying to harm Todd. I think that's, that's going to be the dealio. Because, like, everyone goes through financial strife, and... You know, people people have their ways of getting through it, and drugs happens to be one of those ways. It's unfortunate that the kid is in the situation, so we want to try to do what we can to get the kid out of there. 
you know? Alright, vacuum cleaner. Todd, where's the damn vacuum cleaner? it want me to do? Oh, that's what it wants me to do. <laughs> ah, I have to actually like, oh, that's so cool. <laughs> Touchpad. <laughs> it's so cool yet so dumb. How often do I, how many times do I have to do this shit? Every time? No, it just does it for me. Good, good, good. I think what Alice really needs is she needs an example of somebody that, while you don't want to put up with the bullshit. Tara. Yes, Todd. Bring me a cold beer. Right away. It's like you don't want to put up with the bullshit in a way where you're submissive. You, you, but you still want to, you know, put a good example of not being, of trying not to be violent. What are you looking at? Get the fuck out of here. Get the fuck out of here! I'll get back to work. Alright, clean this shit up. You better stop that right now! Why is she always pushing me? Always pushing. Eh, we're not done yet. I see that. I see that over there. All sports, eh? Well, yeah, Android power should be outlawed. Are American senators really corrupt? <laughs> All right. I think we got everything. Let's go talk to Todd. I've made a good start down here. I'll head upstairs. Do what you have to do and stop bothering me. That's a pretty toy. What's its name? Poor Alice. All right, let's go clean upstairs. So where is he getting this eight? Where did he get the uh, money to fix 
Kara and replace Kara. Kara, Kara, however you pronounce it. the floor. Bathroom's clean. Uh, taking care of simple stuff. What is she looking at? Oh, that's a way. That's a way out. This room is not tidy. There's socks on the floor. kid All right. Todd's room is next. Don't touch his red ice. And now to court. Another 225,000 jobs were lost through the US economy. President Warren spoke today at the opening of a new cyber life plant near Milwaukee. Man, that's a lot of shit to clean up. Depressant. All right. <sighs> all right, cool. Beds made, all that. Ventilate room. Cool. Clean mess. What else we got? Over here.
Hmm. All right, let's go talk to Alice. Watch it. Wow, trooper. You can just stand in the doorway ominously. Hi, Alice, Alice in Wonderland. Of course. You see that collision factor? How she avoided stepping directly on it? I'm sure we used to be friends before I was reset. Maybe we can be friends again. Your father said you chose my name. Kara, it's nice. How did you choose it? You should tell me about yourself. What you like to do. I'm going to try to avoid go, talking about her mother. Foods. That would really help me. You're very quiet. I hope I don't scare you. Hmm. That. She steps over the. She steps over. It's cool game design right there. family. Alright, let's make sure we got it. So yeah, just ask Todd for new instructions. tried to make things work but whatever I do when See? someone comes along they just fuck it all up I know what you think of me you hate me you hate me don't you say it you hate me she doesn't know that's the thing what am I doing See, see, these are the things like. You know I love you. At the end of the day, a father does truly care. That's the important thing. Holy shit! This is a fifty-six-minute episode right now. 
All right. I'm not going to play this. We're just going to stop the recording. That way so it don't give you like a three hour long video. But that's the first hour or so of gameplay of Detroit Become Human. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I think we actually unlocked. Oh, no, we didn't unlock everything. We missed one thing. That was it. And it was in the second floor, I think. Something in Todd's room, it looks like, is what we missed. All right, cool. But either way, um, I hope you guys really enjoyed this. Uh, I'm actually having a ton of fun with this. So what does world stats mean in percent? So world stats, it looks like they got an 85% where they tidy up the pills. So that's a, a, th that's a thing. Oh, cool. And then you got all the different successes and failures and all that. Okay. Locked paths still. All right. Cool. And then the first floor, we missed one thing as well. Um, so we got the dishes done. Um, looks like something to do with the vacuum. Missed something there. Okay. 92% complete. Oh, my God. The completionist in me is going to go insane trying to do this shit. Oh, boy. But, yeah, like I said, I hope you guys really enjoyed this. Uh, this game is a ton of fun already. It really, really plays with your brain a lot. Like, you have to really think. You have to really think what you're doing and... And you have to really kind of focus on what is going to happen down the line thing. So I'm I'm actually really enjoying it. But yeah, first hour of gameplay down. Um, the rest of these episodes won't be as long. Who knows? I might do like a uh, every 10th episode is an hour long kind of thing. But I'm mostly going to try to strive for about 30 minutes or so. We'll probably do one or two chapters every time. This one we did four just because we had the prologue and then we had the other stuff we were doing. No, it was three actually. So we'll do two of the uh, arcs all at, w at one time so that should uh that should be all right to work with there but yeah like i said i hope you guys really enjoyed this i'm really enjoying this uh and i will catch you all later